you have a problem with illegals sneaking into your country? Do you have too many Mexican kids to feed and not enough guacamole? Maybe your current illegal migrant detention facility is just way too small. Or is your facility so crowded that, well, yes, technically, you could squeeze more people in, but if you do, a bunch of pesky lawyers from New York, you know the kind I'm talking about, right? They're going to call you out and call you a Nazi for not providing enough food, water, and clothes. Or maybe you've got too many families to separate and not enough space to separate them. Well, I have got great news for you. Come on down to the Manzanar War Relocation Center, located in the sunny foothills of the Sierra Nevada mountain range. You know what that smell is? I'll tell you one thing, it ain't tacos. Located just 200 miles from the nearest immigration attorney and just a six hour bus ride from the border where them migrants originally snuck over. Why Manzanar, you ask? One word, experience. Are you concentrating a large population in a confined space? We're experienced. Are you detaining families for an undetermined amount of time? Ditto! Experienced with that too. Are you separating families? Experienced times two to the 12th power. Plus, that's our favorite part of the job. From 1942 till 1945, Manzanar was the most popular, widely known, and efficient detention and family separation facility in the United States for thousands of pesky Japanese Americans who were rounded up during World War II because, well, look, the, the reason why it doesn't really matter. Suffice to say, they was too spread out across the United States, and the federal government could not keep track of them, and they had no idea what them sneaky bastards was up to. So. After they was rounded up, we concentrated them in one place. And now, 65 years later, guess what? We are back to keep America great. At Manzanar today, we've got bunks so tiny, families will beg to separate themselves. And you never have to worry about there being enough light because we have plenty of these. We've got space as fast as your imagination but not so vast that the migrants can't be seen from this 10-story gun tower. And guests will never complain about having a room too close to the elevator. Why? Because we don't have an elevator. And that is not all. You remember those pesky New York lawyers? We will shut them the hell up for good. How? Amenities. Our spoon, bed sheet, and bar of soap meet the highest in luxury standards. Just ask our warden and her brother and then incredible full kitchens, which is really a great and exciting point of differentiation for us. We have incredible European cabinetry, sub-zero appliances. It can really feel like a home away from home. People love the drinks, people love the food. It's always crowded, it has a great scene. People just love the pool. And when migrants aren't too crammed into their bunks, they will beg to use our gymnasium, where they'll pick up rocks from over here. Move them to this spot over here, and then pick them up again and put them back where they found them. Plus, every migrant can earn reward points for good behavior and then upgrade from sleeping outside in this area over here to sleeping outside next to these prickly bushes. So, if you've got an overcrowded illegal migrant detention center and you gotta get those New York lawyers off your back, who are you gonna call? Manzanar. Manzanar Hotel and Suites is a subsidiary of Trump Hotel International. 